excited to Richard Franchar season more, and this is a big, giant, huge part of the more. Anyway, we got some deliveries today. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a race hood sitting there. On what? What is it, America? And all our other fans in Europe and Australia, what is it? And everywhere else? And you recognize this beautiful, fine automobile. Oh, you might be able to make that out. Yeah, yeah, dude, this is my baby. I've had her since I was 19 years old. And I've been waiting on parts the whole time during the crappy COVID. And you see all them worn bushings there. You guys are going to be uh, helping me with the transformation. This is why I said, and more. Got to change them bushings in there and the K member to something a, a lot better. Uh, resurface the brakes because they've been sitting. But yeah. Already did the brake lines and a few things. Uh, that's fire damage from the 2015 fire. Got my little welder here. Get my little jacket off the mirror. I got new mirrors too. Don't mind the mess. I've been kind of busy doing the whole RC thing. Got a roll cage to put in. brake pedals hung and gas pedal and the steering column all rebuilt I put that in right align the firewall I'm doing a heater block off there's gonna be no more heater system in this car you're wondering why well, it's weight reduction no need for it I mean do you see me driving this thing during the winter that's what happens when you drive during the winter I bought the car out of a field back when I was 19. I got it for $400 and this whole fucking side was caved in. And I've slowly been reworking it. The fire popped a couple of the dents out, did me some favors. This one right here is a lot smaller. I uh, did some work on the top. It originally had a white hat vinyl top. This was a white hat edition. 318, two barrel, single exhaust. Sat in the field 16 and a half years and I drove her home. That was the number one rules. I had to drive her home, according to my parents. But yeah, this is the sound system I'm putting in. It's out of my town car I got rid of. Need to get some tail lights. Got a bunch of parts sitting over there we'll be unveiling later in later videos. Uh, she'll be getting body work, a new paint job, and Got the dash all powder coated and it's been back probably like a year. <laughs> I've just been too busy, you know, everything else going on. It's his life, man. I get all jittery just thinking about this car. Got a motor in my living room for it that will be installing hopefully later this damn spring. But I gotta get the front end parts, which means I gotta go back to work and make more money. Morning, morning. Yeah, this is my garage. Built most of it by myself. I had a little help with the sheeting of the roof from the neighbor. Big shout out goes to Steve. Thank you. Um, yeah. Wife helped me install the lift. That was epic. A big old beam up there. Sorry, I'm kind of just like rambling <laughs> can't help it Mopar man I miss my Mopar finally I got the rest of the parts I've been waiting for so all I gotta say is stay tuned America this is gonna be freaking awesome